I recently watched a Korean movie on Netflix. The movie tells the story of two lovers who struggled in their marriage, ultimately leading to a divorce. After their divorce, circumstances brought them together again, and one day, the man returned home with bruises on his face, and the woman quickly tended to his wounds by applying ointments and bandages on the wound. It was then that he asked a profound question. What if we had applied ointment on time, disaffected our wounds, and replaced our bandages every time? Would things have been different in our marriage? This question resonated deeply with me. What if we treated our emotional wounds like we do our physical ones? What if we applied the same care and attention to healing our relationships? Imagine if we tended to our emotional hurts as quickly as we do our physical injuries. Would things be different? Would we be able to forgive, heal, and move forward? Just like our bodies can heal from physical injuries, sometimes to the point that we even forget the pain. I wish we could apply the same principle to our relationships. If we could heal and move forward, maybe we wouldn't see as many divorces as we see today. Take a moment to reflect on this. How can we apply this wisdom to our own relationships. Thanks for watching. If you are inspired to attend to your um, emotional wounds and nurture your relationships by this video, please share this video with someone who needs it. And if you are curious, the movie that inspired this reflection, the title is Queen of Tears on Netflix. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. 우리도 그랬으면 어땠을까? 뭘? 약 바를 일 있으면 그때 그때 바르고 소독할 거 바로 바로 하고 새 밴드로 갈아주고 그랬으면 우리 이렇게 안 됐을까? 아니 그 전에 그냥 여기 앉아서 쭈쭈바 하나 먹고 그랬을 때쯤 헤어졌으면 결혼을 안 했으면 